Hi everyone, last video blog we met with youth in our community, specifically in Lower Town. They've come together and they've built the Youth Action Plan and it's key to all of us to listen and take action. They're really asking for modern recreation spaces so that they can enjoy and really discover themselves and connect. So important, so we meet today with the School of Architecture who's worked with us closely in reimagining three important recreation spaces right here in our community. It starts with Lower Town and Champagne Bath, in Vanier with the Richelieu Community Center, and right behind me, the Sandy Hill Community Center. Janine Debonet and I teach uh, architecture here at the Israeli School of Architecture and Urbanism. We're very interested in teaching students about relational architecture, so architecture that's in dialogue with the fabric that it's in, the neighborhood, the street, and ultimately the city. So it's the starting point of a much uh, broader network. Mathieu's email to my colleague said, look, in my ward are older community centers and they haven't gotten their fair attention. So we ended up working on three community centers in your ward, Richelieu in Vanier and Champagne Bath on King Edward and Sandy Hill Community Centre. These are existing buildings. Case of Champagne, that was the oldest one. Richelieu from the 50s and then Sandy Hill, which was a lovely 1965 community centre by an Ottawa firm. As you explained to us, they lack the regulation gym or regulation pool in the case of Champagne to, I guess, keep the interest and participation of teenagers and young adults. The students had to converse with and add a fairly big piece to it, a gym or a pool. That was the task and so architecturally the students had to come up with um, a language of, of connection and transition that needed to, to make sense and honour the old building and neighbourhood. Thoughtful architecture has an urban dimension. There's something about welcome, there's something about opening up and setting up relationships, places of encounter, of passage. Um, it, it's really important for students to think about that because I think the more buildings we have that create urban relationships and, and social space, um, I think the better city we have. We believe that architecture can change people's lives and can make cities better, can make them sustainable, but also joyful and healthy. And so we really try to give the students all the tools to make a good built environment. And we try to nurture an orientation in the students towards making meaningful places for the citizens of Ottawa and beyond. Our youth came together with a clear youth action plan and a clear ask. It empowered our students at Carleton University to reimagine our outdated rec recreation spaces and give them a modern space, a modern look, and a modern use. Let's listen to our youth. Let's empower ourselves to do better, to modernize our aging infrastructure. We'll all benefit from it, so let's focus on targeted investments in our recreation spaces in our city's core.